He's backed up. He gives it to Orland Smith, who busts through. Smith to the 30. Smith to the 50. At the 20. He's got to go. Touchdown. Unbelievable. Well, this is the patented tech counter. They bring two around. Nobody to back up. And Smith is off the races. As Jen pointed out, Rich, this is the third consecutive game that Georgia Tech will have scored on their first play. First play went 95 yards. Washington, the keeper, and the triple option. And Mandugo and Terry have switched positions for this game. It's, it's Smith again, and Orwin Smith is out to the 40. Five yard line. If you're full option, but you've got to maintain the perimeter. You can't let them get outside like this. You know, one of the things that uh, Sheely is going to have to do is get single coverage on their speed guys, and Tevin Washington has been able to get him the ball. Sims straight ahead in 13 of 31. Washington option pitch to Smith. Has the first down. Caught from behind. It's very difficult, Rich, to maintain proper spacing, but they do a great job right here. Smith able to turn upfield to receive the ball. In a 7-7 game. Washington, option again. Sims this time. Good. And here they are. Washington going to put it up, and he's caught and dropped. See if Washington puts it up again. Straight back. To the sideline and not a good throw in Florida State's first time in the ACC's history four ranked opponents at ACC schools in one week Roddy Jones on the pitch to the 20 Jones inside the 10 and another big 1500 yards in his career and this is nothing fancy this is the lead option look at this lane right here and again keep your eyes on the blockers First and ten from the 11. 33. On first and ten. Sims. To the four. David Sims on the carry. Washington. Swallowed up. And he may have lost. He's a buck. But he's really good. Third down and three. A pitch. Jones. Great move. And touchdown. Roddy Jones. This is not even the option. This is the tall sweep. Watch you plant that thing and come back inside. Literally makes two. Now Tevin Washington and the Yellow Jackets at their own 28. On the pitch, Roddy Jones avoids a tackle. Jones cuts back to the 40. Jones is midfield. Caught from behind. To the 30. Carry. Great job of just reading the blockers and then watch the watch the cut back inside. And then he just gets in a convoy. He gets us get caught from behind. Not the speedest of Roddy Jones. So it's first and ten and Sims straight ahead. The yardage, Georgia Tech got 95 of them on one play. The Orwin Smith touchdown run. Wide open. Washington at 62% coming into this ball game. Peoples in motion. And it's Peoples who has the ball to the 10. To the house. Touchdown. A little feedback for you. Again, this is the toss sweep. Right there is the hold. Looks like they were holding each other. They were 98th in the country last year with Georgia Tech in the red zone. Sims makes it 12 of 12. I guess it was supposed to be a shootout. A little bit of a mystery, though, coming into this ball game. Inside handoff, Orwin Smith. Same play that Smith went 95 yards on for a complicated play. It just, you bring a couple of linemen around and you hand off to the back. A little first misdirection, but outstanding here in the first half. Tech has blowout wins against Western Carolina and Middle Tennessee. Washington gives to David Sims. He just needs to tell 
Washington, just hand the ball to me. Don't pitch it, just hand it. Second down 11, Tevin Washington does pitch it. This time it's Embry Peoples. State in game one. Third down. Washington has yet to complete a pass. Got him open. That's Smith. Orwin Smith. For 20 yards per carry. It's 21 and a half receiving it. That'll go up. Tyler Pat. On the pitch, Peoples. Hit initially. 20. This is the pitch. If we run it long enough, you're going to see what the fans were booing about a little bit. Lubbock Smith with the initial hit. And in the ACC and in the Big 12. David Sims. Ball. Ball came loose. Kansas may have it. After the timeout now on a third down and four. Washington will keep it. He's close, but I don't think he has it. And a pitch to Emory Peoples. Peoples across midfield. He's going to go. He's 10. He's touchdown Georgia Tech. 63 yards. Headed north. And again, we've seen this toss sweep. Kansas oh so close. But this is just uh, out. Out. To start the second half. Second possession second half for Georgia Tech. Washington, option left. Great the play. Back is Roddy Other Took Navy in six years to five bowl games and has been very successful here at Georgia Tech. Smith. Right now, a third down and three. Peoples in motion. Washington keeps it, and he has the first down. And that's better yardage. The watching actually follow follow the lead man right in there third and three he picks up four nicely executed Emory people's there leading the way in it's, an, it's a lead it can keep a lead and eat up clock and yardage Washington a quick throw that's the play I was talking about see him cheat in again that pass is wide open they want to go to it Washington over the middle it's Smith again and he is gone Orwin Smith 67 yards. They were cheating. That means the safety has got to go out this way, which means there's nobody down the middle of the field. They cheat the corner in. The safety has to cheat to the outside. The next generation of bottles. If you're on the tour, first and 10, Georgia Tech with the ball and the lead. Washington uh -oh. over the middle. Again, it's Roddy Jones. Touchdown. 52 yards. Well, I mentioned earlier in the first half that Kansas had to get their safeties up to support the run. Well, that's what happens when they're clicking. They don't put the ball on the ground. They don't throw interceptions. This offense is very, very potent. This is the third time that Georgia Tech has scored. Not for Georgia Tech. Here's the scoring in the second half. And the key word there is second half. Emory Peoples first play. Takes it the distance. They then catch, Washington. They catch the corner coming up. They get it down the field earlier, and then that's the one to Roddy. We'll be paying plenty of attention Very to. Very much so. Georgia Tech keeps it on the ground. David Sims straight ahead. This, of course, Johnson, the head coach at Tech, also by default serves as the offensive coordinator, calls all the plays. Stephen Hill stepped out of bounds. At the 33 yard indicated. Tevin Washington going to keep it. Midfield, Washington to the sideline. The decisions today. And he gives himself just a little bit of space there and then immediately identifies no one's coming inside out to pick him up. Gets a block downfield. And they score more than 30 play, 30 points rather. 403 yards. Washington again. And it's incomplete. 65%. They're not shooting themselves in the foot by making mistakes in the passing game. Toss sweep. Peoples. Emory Peoples has got a first down. Wrestle completion percentage last year. And here's a look at Tevin Washington's day. Washington an adequate runner, but a very good passer. And I think that passing dimension is something that Tech did not have last year with Nesbitt. He was more of the runner. 
to make the decisions on the pitch. David Sims, touchdown. And Georgia Tech right. Usher for Georgia Tech. Days will keep it. And so in for the Yellow Jackets on second down and seven. And that's Lions. He's out of uh, Atlanta here. Here, ACC Big 12 matchup and a dominant second half performance by Georgia Tech. On the pitch, Tony Zenon on first and 10. Zenon, got great speed. And the little guy is out to the 47 yard line. Steven Johnson made the stop for Kansas. It's the second unit right now that is moving the football at their own 47 yard line. Preston Lyons, the big man, is rumbling to the 20 and down to the 17 yard line where Greg Brown brings him down. He's got two more. And, and look, at, look at the great block here, but look how this lane opens up because the defender's out of position. Linebacker misses, he's immediately at the second level uh, as uh, is wont to do. The, the big guy runs north and south, this way south. A Morgue Uzi on that block. And it's Sinjin Days to the 12-yard line. Tobin Operum made the stop. Now Days, a little counter option to keep it and pay the price. Good job by Darius Willis with Clemson on top of Auburn right now. Maryland coming back against West Virginia. Days to the seven. And number five, Florida State. Uh, he can run the ball. He can also block. Can't press the line. Total offense. Over 660 so far. It's funny how offenses evolve. Paul Johnson's really hasn't. From Georgia Southern to Navy to Georgia Tech. Tenth play of the drive. In that time, a lot of teams across the college football landscape are incorporating a lot of what he does, and Days dives into the end zone. 59-17. 336 yards of total offense in this half for Georgia Tech. Basketball, uh, first-class city, world-class city, and just a tradition. This is an unbelievable program, a great tradition. And I'm, ex I'm excited about building on that. Rich, what's going on there behind us? What was happening? We could just hear a building behind us. But, Coach, I know one of the challenges for you this year, you don't really have a home court. Tell us about that. Well, we're going to have a great home court a year from now. But the McCamish Pavilion, first class. It's going to be a first class arena. And, and it's something that we're really building. Session. Sinjin Days, the redshirt freshman out of Powder Springs, Georgia. Option right side. Charles Perkins, Deion Hill into the ball game. Days keeps it first down and more, 20, and out of bounds at the 16-yard line. I think the thing that impresses me most, Rich, is that it appears Zinn gets a good block there, number nine. It appears so effortless for Georgia Tech. From the Kansas 15, the pitch, Robert Godhigh. Year. I didn't count. I looked it up. Wrote it down there. Nice work. Perkins straight ahead. He's right on the line. He's in. And Georgia Tech keeps it on the ground. 